Um, that's not good. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to Cities and Friends. My name is Wyatt, and this is a brand new series where we're starting from scratch on the map of Sanu Beach. We have every DLC unlocked, and our goal is to build the largest city possible as efficiently as possible. I am so excited. Let's get right into this now. All right, welcome back, everybody. If you are new here, my name is Wyatt. I am the host of Cities and Friends, and in real life, I'm a commercial real estate broker. I've got over six years of experience dealing with properties on the West Coast, and on the side, I play city builder games. And if you haven't seen our first series on this whole thing, click the link above, take a look at the first episode ever, and you'll get an idea of just who I am and what I do. <laughs> I am brand new to City Skylines. I have maybe a week's worth of experience playing this game, and I thought, you know what? It would be a whole lot of fun if I just, if I just streamed my learning experience from the beginning to everybody online. And that's what I've done. And if you're new here and you also haven't played this game much, or if you're somebody who who just likes to, to play along or to watch somebody suffer, this channel was meant for you. <laughs> because my goal is to make this this game as, as unintimidating as possible because when I was looking at this game through other creators like, of course, City Planner Plays and with Biffa and with um, Overclocked Egg, Overcharged Egg, I, I got so intimidated by it that I never got into it, personally. I never... I never found the motivation to want to play because I was so intimidated by how much there was to do. And man, am I glad that I just took the leap one day and decided to play this game. Now, really quickly, what I'm doing before I get anything else, I am doing something that's pretty basic and pretty straightforward that I actually learned in the last series. And again, if you haven't seen it, watch me suffer. It is so much fun. I promise you'll get a laugh out of it. And what I'm doing here is I am building my industrial district near the freeway and for the reason I'm doing that is because what I learned in the last series and I should probably pause this while I explain things in the last series what I had learned the hard way was that if you build your industrial districts too far away from the freeway you are going to clog up your main arterial your main collector road which I plan to build down here and you will uh you <laughs> you will sabotage and repeatedly destroy your industrial districts now in this game i'm gonna make a pledge to myself not do that <laughs> i am going to make my best effort to to just make everything as, as linear and as consistent as possible without making our citizens suffer this time around and what i'm doing here and i'll explain in a second what i'm doing everything actually i'm gonna do this real quick what i am doing right now is i am using first of all dirt roads if you're if you're new to city skylines this might be uh informational for you but if you're not you've heard this a bajillion times basically gravel roads are the cheapest kind of roads you can use and when you're first starting out it's best to start with these because it, it significantly lowers your overall cost per week in getting your city off the ground and what i have going on here and i'm noticing it's <laughs> it's not necessarily uh symmetrical at the moment but we'll fix that later on it's no big deal i have a six lane road going in this general direction and the reason for that is because this is going to be my main collector and down the line and throughout the entirety of your city transportation corridors are going to be the most important aspect of your city in my opinion and with this going on here what i can do is i can branch this out in any direction i'm just going to Go like no, oh, oh, I'm gonna get my single line. I'm just gonna go like this just for the heck of it. I'm gonna leave it anyway. But let's say I wanted to split off here. I wanted to build residential, right? So I can go up here and I can you know, connect this, make this whole thing residential here. They now have a way to get onto the main arterial, the main collector road, and get themselves 
onto the freeway as quickly as possible. And also, of course, six lane roads are, mo are meant to support high traffic. So therefore, by having these neighborhoods split off like this onto um, my main corridor, my main collection, it alleviates future traffic problems, at least for the time being. So that's what I'm doing. That's my goal here. Making some changes to how I originally started this series all, the, all those weeks ago. But for the most part, trying to keep everything the same because I'm most familiar with it. So here's my plan. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to zone. First of all, actually, what I need to do, I need to get my power up first. And I'm going to put this plant right here. And there's a reason for it. And before we do anything else, do I have a river this time around to work with? I don't. So this is going to be something new to me here that I have to actually work with. I need to actually use water towers. Because, oh, I could actually supply my water from this river right here. But let me see. It does flow pretty nicely. I could actually do this. And you know what? I think it's going to be my best option to me at the moment. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually put this. Actually, the water flows this direction. I'm going to put this lined up with this road up here so I can connect it cleanly. And then I'm going to get my first. Actually, can I get a water? So this is something I'm going to be learning along the way is I got every DLC pack before starting this new series. So There's going to be a lot of things I'm going to be learning as well as we go through this. So I get two crazy here. Let's get our lines up and running for our district. Just like that. That looks great. And then water treatment. This is something I haven't used yet, but I would imagine this deals with water waste as in real life. That's what this would do as well. So I'm going to put this. I don't want to take up our row that I'm going to expand on down the road. So I'm going to put this right here. And so it needs to be plugged into water. So I'm going to take this line. Am I able? Can I actually take you then and put you right there? Okay, great. That's looking good. And now what I want to do is I want to keep this going. And so my plans are, and I'm going to show you as I do this, I am going to keep, make this linear parallel. I'm going to make this whole area here or a good majority of it commercial and actually now that i think about it what i want to really do here is i want to future proof because what i want to have going down in this direction as we expand and hit new milestones and we're able to build more high density i want to reserve as much of this strip of, of land and maybe a few parcels around it for our higher end higher density use types so with that in mind, I'm actually going to just have this line. I'm going to do this just so I don't forget. I'm going to upgrade this road here. And for a good reason, I'm going to make this road be our guideline. So we're not going to build anything on this side. And you know what? We may even if I want to reserve this whole piece over here as well. I think I actually do. This is going to be interesting. I don't know if this is going to work or not. This is what I'll do. I am going to connect these just like this. And I am going to reserve these parcels just by basically color coating, coating them with our normal lanes. And I'm going to reserve that for our higher density uses as we get there down the road. And I'm hoping we can get there. That, that's the plan for now. Bear with me. It may not work. That's going to be the motto of the channel. It may not work, but we're going to try it. <laughs> okay. So now here's the game plan. I'm going to make this whole block here. We're going to make this commercial. And I want to make sure I utilize as much of my commercial space as possible. So I will just build it like this. Look, oh, that didn't line up accurately interesting okay good. good good enough that's weird are there rocks in the way uh, did that did that fix it let's see interesting okay probably a slope anyway so what i'm gonna do then so i'm gonna make probably 
these blocks here for now are commercial so it is zone those in so i remember oh, oh, okay there we go these will be our commercial and the reason i have these here is because i'm gonna make all of this industrial and with industrial you may or may not be aware it creates noise pollution and water pollution and ground pollution and air pollution just pollution pollution in general it's bad <laughs> and the only districts that can um, tolerate being next to industrial is commercial so i'm gonna have these be our buffers and what i'm gonna do then i'm gonna take the rest of this and i'm gonna make all of this residential and i probably do want to build another road or another outlet let's take up to here right to here oh was this was that is this right that is straight okay and then let's get all of that zoned in and then before we press play here and what my goal is as well if you're new here haven't seen the channel i try to hit the pause button as little as possible i want to experience pure chaos because that's how the real world works and i don't want the easy way out all right let's play on 3x speed and we're gonna have to get our power going as well soon so let's just get uh let's wait a little bit let's see how we can get this properly working that's also because we're gonna need to connect these anyway let's get everything here connected and for the time being it'll, it'll look a little bit ugly but it's gonna be okay let's just take our power grid out to here put it right to there now everything's gonna be powered up that looks great and while everything is waiting to fill in let's just finish out oh i'm actually gonna leave that alone for now and you'll see here i'm leaving blocks unmarked and the reason for that is because i plan to expand down the road and these roads take up about two blocks a piece a little bit less but you'll see here they take up two blocks and i don't want to have to eminent domain my citizens this early on it really doesn't have an effect on your game as far as i'm aware of but i just <laughs> I just try to keep this game realistic and I try not to seize my citizens' properties as much as I possibly can. <laughs> and you know, we don't have water because we don't have electricity going to our plant. So that's great to see. And what we can do here, what I learned in the last series is we can just do that we can run our line across the water just like that and i'm probably gonna have to find a way to fix this down the road just for the sake of aesthetic purposes because i i, I you don't want a city that that has power lines going over the freeway i mean they're they're common anywhere you go i'm sure wherever you guys live that's very common but just for the sake of having a prettier city a greener city i want to minimize this as much as possible and now that i also think about it oh I already forgot we already have a water treatment facility, but we don't have to worry about that one bit. Oh, interesting here. We have a water treatment plant and we also have a eco water outlet. Let me see. What does this one do? So drain capacity is 120,000. This one is 60,000. Okay, interesting. So this one is going to be the better use case for you, but this one is a green alternative that I may in a future build want to take advantage of because, again, if you're unaware of what I do, I, I really enjoy commercial real estate and I've been doing it for six years and I really, my, my goal in the real world is to develop my own city and to practice green um, methods of development and sustainability. And what comes with that is having to obviously have uh, green power sources. Oh, hang on. It is so hard to play games and talk at the same time. <laughs> there we go. And so obviously with that, you need to have green certified buildings and green certified practices. And it usually costs more in this day and age is giving the overall um, supply of it it's more costly obviously i'm not going to touch this side i promised i wouldn't but that's all part of the process okay so we need more residential already let's get rid of these trees and let's just fill in these blocks i'm not too concerned with 
how far I separate my my districts. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do here, I think going this far up is enough for now. And so what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to build more in this direction. And what I could even do too is I could get started on this side as well, or I could just start building this way and just mimic what I have going on here. So let's keep this going and let's get our districts expanded a little bit. Let's go. Actually, let's, let's take it. Let's start here. And let's just slowly start building everything out. Take this and connect that. And let's start. Let's continue our zoning process. That looks good. That looks great. Let's be careful with how we fill this in. Be beautiful. And again, if you are new here, let me explain a little bit as to. Uh oh, I mean, I should need that. We'll need that. I think we're looking good. Yeah. Let me explain a little bit as to what what I do in these uh, in these city skyline series that I have just begun to start uploading. What I like to do is I like to have uncut versions and let's play style videos where basically, oh, well, hang on a second. We hit our first milestone. We hit little Hamlet and this unlocks taxes, loans, garbage, healthcare, and education. So clinics, schools, landfills, recycling centers, and community schools. These two are brand new to me. I have not seen these before, so I'll have to learn these as we go. And that ties into what I was saying is I like to make my playthroughs authentic. I try my best not to take any outside advice that is not from down below in the comments. So if you see me making any mistakes that you think I could improve on or fix, please feel free to leave them down below. This is a community of people where I want our community to be a tight knit group of friends where we can pass advice on to each other and really just share the love for city skyline skylines and city builder Sims in general. Let's also put this to here, put that to there. So you're going to see me here, maybe not at the moment, but I will start to pause <laughs> and I will start to struggle a little bit because I need to think everything I do is live and I think on the fly and sometimes I just don't have the answers. <laughs> no matter how many times I've played this game or how many times I've, I've done something, there are just times where I'm going to need a little bit of extra time to think through what I'm doing. But for now, everything is pretty straightforward. You just want to expand as quickly as possible. Make sure everything you're doing is serviced and just grow your population as quickly as you possibly can. So I think we're safe now to just plug that to three. And what I actually should do here too is I should just for now get this portion here connected to that because there's no reason not to have it. We might as well. We're going to leave these two again unchecked, unmarked, because this is going to be our central business district down the road. And now we're seeing a need for more residential. I'm going to slow this down once again so I have more time to think things through and build as we go. And you'll notice it's raining. It may not be the prettiest thing, but again, I want to keep my game realistic and as authentic as possible. So Rain or shine, we're playing. <laughs> let's take this. Let's go here. It's actually also, since I'm on this end, let's finish off this block. And let's take that to there. And what I'm going to do after we do this, and I'm going to push you right to there. What I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to put in something that we unlocked a few minutes ago. We unlocked See that little icon right there? We need garbage pickup. That is important. So we're going to put in a landfill. And what I think I'm going to do, and I'm thinking on the fly here, what if I separated my landfill from my district, my industrial district? Would that make any sense? Let's do this. Let's take this here. I don't want to get too carried away with it at the moment. Let's go here. Let's go up and over. And then let's take 
our landfill that we unlocked. And let's put you kind of in the way to where we can have a nice collection area. Put that right there. And there's a... F is there a fire? Oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, this game is not being nice already. We don't have a fire station unlocked. Well, um... <laughs> we have run into our first problem, guys, and we just started playing this game. Um, that's not good. <laughs> okay, let's get our water lines to the back here. We can't do anything about that, so we uh, we just got to let it burn, I guess. <laughs> right, off to a terrific start. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna we're gonna just ignore what's going on down there and instead let's just continue expansion over here and let's oh get zoning right to there and zoning right to there. Alright and Ooh, pardon that noise. And things are looking good for us. And let me think for a second here. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just connect this road to our industrial district just to have it connected. I'm going to leave this by itself for now. Not too worried with what we got going on. And then I think I want to go just a little bit further out. Connect that, connect that. And... Let's, I'm almost tempted to make this whole thing here like this. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish residential right here and right here. We also need to finish this road. I just noticed I missed it. And let's add in a commercial district. Well, not yet. Let's actually finish this. Let's finish making this commercial right here. We do have a couple odd. I just noticed I put in some homes here by accident. A little odd looking, but not the end of the world. We're going to leave that the way it is for now. And then we are going to finish our commercial here and here to make sure our water can get to our people. Let's just finish this line right to there. That is looking magnificent. How's this building doing? Well, it's uh, it's gone. <laughs> we're gonna just demolish that, not worry about what happened there. And we're gonna see, I actually haven't had a building burned down yet, so I'm curious what's gonna happen to that site, if anything gets affected, or if it just gets reset and rebuilt. That'll be curious. All right. Now my question here is, do I want to extend, I think we're close enough to our commercial district where I don't need to worry about making anything or segmenting our districts to have commercial to service anything. So I'm going to keep this going the way I had it. And let's just get this thing sped up once again. I just want to hit that next milestone as quickly as possible before I do anything too crazy. So let's keep this going, keep that connected. Let's take that up. I think I'm just going to keep doing this one more time. Then let's get some water to service it. And that should take us to our next milestone. There we go. Perfect. We are now at Worthy Village and we've unlocked quite a few things. Most importantly, we now have a fire station unlocked. <laughs> so if anything catches on fire, we are prepared this time. We also got police, we have unique buildings, and we have some designations. Oh, we have quite a bit actually, new self-sufficient buildings. This is brand new to me. Recycle their waste, produce energy with solar panels. This is fantastic actually. So is this a policy? This is a specialization. Interesting. Generates less tax income because it's an incentive for the residents. I get that. Okay. Organic and local produce. Changes commercial area to consist of buildings like local produce shops, blah, 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 blah. Charging stations. Oh, that's very cool. Okay. The firehouse station. So I have some plans. 
and I'll keep going for now, but I'll kind of look into what I was explaining and I'll show you what I plan on doing. So first of all, what I want to do, first things first, you, you should do this. Everyone should have this, a smoke detector distribution so that if a house catches on fire, your police station will be alerted at police station. Your fire station will be alerted immediately and can take care of that for you. And now I am putting down my fire station. And what I want to keep in mind is servicing as many people as possible while also keeping my fire stations off of main collector roads. I'll put this right here. And let me explain why I'm doing that. And is there actually zoning here? Okay, that looks good. That's fine. So I put my fire station right here on Elizabeth Road. And there is a good reason for that. And the reason being is that I want to make sure that my roads don't, or not my roads, my people don't get in the way of my fire trucks so they can get to uh, emergency sites quicker and so that my trucks don't cause congestions because of how large they are and, and how in use they might, might be. So I put it on this road here because this is going to be a less traffic road than say Howard Street where that connects all of my residents to my main arterial here, my main roads. And it's also not going to be on, you know, any of these roads, Young Street, Harvey Street, again, for the same reasons. I don't want traffic congestion. I want me to make sure my firefighters have ample time to respond to fires without having to worry about any traffic. And same thing goes here. I'm going to put in my fire station, same exact purpose. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something that's very common in, in European nations, not so much in America for some reason, but you'll typically see something like this where they have the fire station and the police station either side by side or adjacent to each other or on the same block somewhere. And it just makes the most sense, right? You want to make sure that, again, they can get to as many people as quickly as possible and they're able to be available for as many people as possible. Perfect. Okay. So now what I want to do next is something that if you're new to this game, you will actually appreciate a lot, not do that yet, is I'm going to go to my taxes and I'm going to raise these up to 11 for now. And the reason for that is because it's just a universally accepted thing in city skylines that if you bump your taxes any higher than 12%, your citizens will get upset and try to leave. However, if you keep it below 12% or at 12%, they'll be perfectly happy to pay those taxes. And so I have it at 11 right now because I want to have a little bit of room to nudge up my budget if I need to. And that's a new tab, disasters. Okay, so how are we doing on everything right now? So electricity is starting to wean just a little bit. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into my budget tab and I am going to upgrade my output. Basically more workers, more electricity, more taxes going towards it. And so that should give us a little bit more power to work with. There we go. We got seven more out of that. And now we're looking even better. And what I want to build next, and I think I'm actually fully zoned out here for residential. I'm almost there, but I want to build towards next is I want to put in some education. Now, community school, interesting. It's an alternative to elementary. Now, this is what I am curious about. Educates children, places one, electricity is 300 is capacity, 250 is capacity. This costs less. But why I'm curious about this, grow into educated adults. So I'm guessing it's a combination of elementary and middle school or secondary school. Interesting. What do we have here? Citizens are sick. But I need to put in, if I have it, yep, I have a medical clinic. I need to get this in also ASAP. Let's put this right here. Reason being, same philosophy as our police and fire that we have. Where'd I put it? Where'd you guys go? Over here. And now we have, that's a neighborhood shop. <laughs> I forgot where I put it right here. Now we have a hospital, services as many people as possible. And again, it's not on any main collectors. So people can get to and from the hospital as quickly as and easily as possible. So a, a clinic, but you know, a hospital pretty much. 
Okay. Now I want to get a school in next. I want to start educating my citizens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this same concept as the fire stations and the clinic. You want to, again, not a main collector, but this time you want to make sure you have your build or your school as close to your residence as possible. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this central to this road. And the reason being is my goal here is I'm going to build around it. And so what I can do in the next milestone or two is I can unlock parks and I am going to designate the surrounding area. I want to probably take, I'll zone that in. I'm going to take this and make this into parks or a park use. But I'm not going to fill I might actually even move this a little bit depending upon the park I want to put in there. But I'm going to leave this whole thing blank, just kind of an empty canvas so that I can work with. Okay, now here is the question I'm running into. I want to see how I can properly zone this so that we are future-proofing the needs of our citizens down the road. And I think it may be time to start having commercial districts to start taking over this part of our city. Let's expand here, expand there. And now, let's also, do I wanna take these through? I don't necessarily wanna take that through. So instead, let's do this. I will make, mm, I'm going to make this residential i will make we don't have a need for commercial yet so i'm going to leave that side unzoned just for now connect that and then i'm going to finish connecting these here let's get that all zoned in we have water to it not yet and what I really need to do now that I'm looking at it, I have not connected our main roads in a while. So let's do this. Let's get you to here. Let's get every road as even as possible and as lined up as possible. And then let's take all the way back to the beginning, get our, our dividing roads here. So remember to maintain this and not do anything with it. Take that over this over and this over and then again i want to take our main traffic corridor our arterial road our collector road whatever you want to call it and i want to bring that to there and oh i almost saw this and i almost started zoning let's keep making sure we are dividing our roads appropriately and we don't accidentally fill anything in that we are not meaning to fill in. That looks great. And since I have a comfortable cast flow coming in, I think it's safe for me to start connecting these roads here as well, just so that we can ideally see, let's actually do this. But we can ideally see what we're gonna be doing down the road. That looks great. Finish this right to here, leave that the way it is. All right. And now, are we fully zoned out yet again? I think we may be. So I think it may be time for more expansion. Okay. And actually, now that I think about it, if I'm gonna make, if I make these two here, right? our high density we could make this into something else i'm not going to touch that just yet just kind of thinking out loud with my plans and just keeping things going how are we doing on power power is getting a little bit tighter yet again what i want to do i don't want to well I don't necessarily want to play with this too much as it might just be costing me more money than I should need to. I instead should probably just build another plant, which I'm going to do instead. 
and I'm going to have to take out a loan for that. That's no big deal. We are positive cash flow, so there's no need to worry about anything hitting our budget too hard at the moment. So let's open this up. Is there any more power we've unlocked through any of our DLCs? There is not. And what is this? A wave power plant. Interesting. And let's take this and let's just build you right over here. Once again, out of the way, out of mind. And that looks great. Now power is doing fantastic. Water is still doing great. And we have just hit tiny town. Okay, this is, oh my, this is a big unlock. <laughs> okay. Wow. Wow. Park paths with decorations. Oof. Oof. Okay, I have a lot to learn here. <laughs> okay, we, can, we I know how to use a high school. I know how to use a public library. And I know how to use parks. Okay, that I understand. That's doing great. Sports Hall and Gymnasium, that's a health benefit. Okay, interesting. All right, so I think I'm going to end the episode here. And I'm going to explore Tiny Town in the next episode of this series. And if you're new here, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you're liking this content so far. I, I try to explain everything that I'm doing from the beginning as, as still a rookie to this game, right? I haven't spent too much time on it, and I just want to make sure that I am helping explain things as best as possible so that I'm, I'm educating people as well as, as showcasing that it's okay to not know what you're doing immediately. <laughs> and I hope that is being relayed here. So as always, thank you so much for being a part of this first episode of this new series. I am so excited to keep going with this and really maximizing our output. Please enjoy the following B-roll that's coming up of this new city, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks.